Kelly, how are you doing? Got your work up here. <clears throat> and, uh, you're looking pretty good. I think you're looking pretty good. Yeah, I, you know, we talked about this in, in your um, grading about the background. And, and you know, I, I think I, I commend your effort here to try to make this background more interesting or a little something more um, visually robust to work with. But, boy, I don't know about these patterns. I, I just, it looks like you're just trying too hard to, to do something with the background. And then the bakery sign. It's, it, you know what, it's not working. And then over here, it's better, but... Boy, I just, I, I got to tell you something. I know in um, grading, I, I mentioned carrying forth with this. And I'm really liking the way this looks. I think it looks gorgeous. There's a couple of things I'd like you to do with this ad right here. Let me move in on this. And I think with this ad, what I would suggest doing here is that the colors are good. You've got this nice color here. Um, I would try to use this color somewhere else in the ad. Can you use it here on the, maybe on the contact information? I don't just try to work it in one other place. I don't know. Does your logo take color? I don't know. I, I didn't see your, your style sheet. So I'm not sure if your, your logo is allowed to take color or not. But I, here's what, here's what I would do with this hat. I think the image is, it, it, it's okay. I mean, it, it, it's okay, but it's better than this one because this one's just getting too muddied up and too, too busy. So this image is good. I think the white type is good. However, you're using bold type here, I highly recommend using a thinner, regular body copy. Print your work out in black and white, and you can see how large that type right there is going to be. It's going to be very bold, very bright, and uh, uh, very large, and you don't want that. You want it to, to work in. You want it to kind of draw the viewer in, as opposed to using bold, which basically amounts to yelling at the viewer. So when I look at this, Right here, I feel like I'm getting yelled at. This 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 bold type right here, I feel like I feel like I'm getting yelled at by the ad, and people don't like that. They like to, to feel a little bit more comfortable, and that's why we don't use bold type in body copy in the ad. Now I want to show you something here. I think that your margins here are too tight. Okay. I would take this image right here and your whole composition, I would just pull it down and bring the type into about that area right there. That way you're gonna allow the viewer to breathe with the image. In other words, they're going to take the image in before jumping into the, right now you're giving image and type, both kind of really as of equal positions in hierarchy. So by reducing, you know, by not pushing your type all the way to the corners, um, we're going to, we're going to alleviate that, that illusion. Come by and try our suites. It needs to be a little bit closer to the headline. Okay. And then this, like I said, when you bring your, you know, everything would be in alignment on the left hand, uh, left align, um, everything would be in alignment on the left margin. So this would be moved in and everything would align up nicely right there. So try that. And I think you'll like, I think you'll like the way that the, the type will breathe and work with the image right now. It just seems like the, the type is placed over the image. I think by reducing that and using the borders of the image and natural white space in the image is going to improve the, um, the, the composition, I think, I think tremendously. One last thing I would recommend is that, so the image is kind of doesn't, isn't weighted either way, left or right, right? But the type is definitely weighted towards the left side of the composition, making, and the logo is placed on the left, visual weight of the logo in conjunction with the uh, bold type and the headline, left aligned, is pulling the balance of this composition this way. Okay, so it's imbalanced. Imagine if you put a fulcrum right here, it looks like this would tip over this way. Too much weight. You can counterbalance that by taking this logo, moving it over to this corner, and then taking that information, moving it to this corner. Okay, try it. I think you'll like it. All right, good job. Thanks.